Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica Fam. Today's video is going to be a thrifted transformation or thrift flip. I had this blue dress that I used to love wearing. I thought it looked so nice on me back then and it did, but as the years went by it kind of looked worse and worse on me. So I decided to change it up a bit and turn it into something more trendy and fashionable and more me. So if you want to find out what I end up doing, please keep watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like my content, please subscribe. And yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys what I did with the dress. Okay, so this dress looks very weird on me now. It flattens my boobs. It makes my arms look a lot bigger than they should and it just looks very weird and I do not like the high neck collar. Yeah, it's, I'm not a fan of it anymore. The thing is with this dress is I love the velvet fabric. I love velvet so much so I wanted to take that fabric and turn it into something I would wear. Anyway, so the first thing I did was basically cut the dress in half. I cut it so that I can utilize the top first and then do something else with the bottom. I didn't know what I wanted to do when I started this so I just separated the two first and then kind of went online to research different online stores and boutiques that would inspire me to make a top so what's in style now is more like of the singlet like crop tank so I decided to do that and I took advantage of the fact that the top was already like a tank top so I could just use that as the shape of my singlet. So yeah um so after i cut it in half i kind of folded it inside out to see what was on the inside like what i could do to the top um and i found that there was a lining on the inside so i just cut that out and i got rid of it once i got rid of the lining i basically just cut two deeper like armholes not deeper but like bigger armholes so it didn't look as like squared and then another deeper hole for the neckline so I brought the neckline down a lot more than it was before. I also cut the lace off because I did not want the lace at all. Yeah I got rid of that and then I just kept on adjusting and cutting so that it looked the way I wanted it to. I also tried to leave as much space for um, bringing it in when I hem it because I don't want the edges to be rough at all so once I did all my cutting I brought in the fabric of the armholes to close up the hem close up the raw edge and then I also did the same thing with the tops like neckline I guess I tried to leave as much as I could there wasn't really much that I really could bring in so I didn't bring in too much it was very minimal so yeah luckily this fabric doesn't fray too easily so I didn't have to fold it in and then fold it in again. It was also very difficult because I'm used to like just sewing straight but I had to follow like the scoop that I had made so it was very like curved so I had to keep turning the fabric but eventually I got there and it was fine. When I had first hemmed the armholes and then the neck, it was a bit too long so then the scoop would just go down here and it was it was, was not nice at all so I had to bring it up a bit I brought it up to how I wanted and then marked that spot and then yeah I sewed both sides just across the um, the band of it and then I cut it and sewed it again to secure it I sewed it with a zigzag stitch once I did that put it back on again and it looked perfect the straps weren't too long it was the perfect size and yeah so I was really happy with that and then I went ahead and did the bottom of the top so I seam ripped disconnecting the top of the skirt to the shirt because I wanted to keep as much fabric as I could and I didn't want the top to be too short so if I had just cut it it would have been too short so I had just seam ripped it and then I hemmed it. I folded it in and sewed around it. So this is what it looks like. Yeah, I'm really, really happy with it. I'm like actually really surprised that I was able to like successfully make it. It's not perfect, but it's like surprisingly, surprisingly better than I expected. So yeah, this is what it looks like. It's pretty cute. Really nice. I'm really excited to wear this. Um, and yeah, so 
Uh, that was that one. Wow. It got so dark all of a sudden. What the heck? Oh no, it's gonna storm. Ah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, I wore it to measure out basically how much fabric I needed for the tube top. Then I just measured out 18 inches long and then about like five inches wide. Cut those two square pieces out and then I sewed them together both sides to create the tube top and then I wore it again to see how it fit and what it looked like on. I made some adjustments to the top and the bottom of the tube top before I hemmed it and then once I hemmed it I was done. So that's what I did to the bottom of the skirt. So this is the tube top, very basic tube top. But I love the velvet, the velvet looks so nice. <laughs> The last thing I made was a little scrunchie and I actually can't find the scrunchie right now which is actually upsetting me so much because it was my favourite one. So I don't know where it is right now. But I did make a scrunchie and it was so cute. I already have a video of that out. If you want to check it out I'll link it down below and yeah. So I found the scrunchie. It's really cute. This is what it looks like. It's like my favourite scrunchie of all time because it's a bit more sophisticated and it looks like I bought it when I really just made it out of an old dress that I used to wear. <laughs> but yeah, mwah, I love it so much. Here it is. So I really love everything I have made. It was... Very fun, very, very, very simple because I am such an amateur when it comes to sewing. So, yeah, so excited. And I want to apologize for the lighting change. There's a storm definitely coming. So, yeah. So, that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And if you like my content, please subscribe. I'm going to be coming out with a lot more thrift flipped and thrifted transformation videos because I'm so inspired right now. So, yeah, stay tuned for those. If you want to know when they come out, just click the post notifications and you'll get notified when I post a video. Um, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.